Great, so everyone should have their level one and level two floors now. If we click on this button up here, so there's like a little house at the very top that says default 3D view. And you can see your two little floors on top of each other. And you can also see all those levels we set up that are just defining where those sit. So I never had to really tell it exactly where it is spent. Um, I was able to host it to a level and that level tells it that height. So if we're going to be creating walls now. And one of the really important things when you create walls is that you tell it the starting point and stopping point based on the levels that you've created. So I'm going to go back to my level one and I'm going to create walls that go through both floors for right now. So I'm going to click on wall. And then right now it's giving me a basic generic eight inch wall. I'm going to change that to a generic 12 inch wall. Once you have a better idea of what your building will be made of, you can change what those are, but these are good stand-ins for what should go there. So now over here under my properties, I wanna change a few things. The first is the location line. Rather than have it be the wall center line, I want it to be the interior finish face so I can um, draw around that and have it be clear of my floors. Next, um, my base constraint here is level one, that's fine. I want my top constraint to be roof. And I'm going to give it a top offset two feet. Okay, so now I'm set to draw. So when I draw, I'm going to make sure it has, um, it turns pink, right? That I get the end point, it has the end point, end point, end point, end, end point. So now if I look at this in 3D, I should have a box here. Now, sometimes you don't want to have walls that are, um, just exterior and sometimes you don't want to have walls that are just solid so let's do two things first let's try making a curtain wall and then let's try making an interior wall maybe on the second floor so i'm going to go back to my level one floor plan so i can either find that by going over here to my tabs or going over here to the project browser and let's say that my main entrance is going to be here and i want to have um, an opening to the wall so I'm going to go back to wall architectural, but here I'm going to scroll down to go to curtain wall one. And I'm going to hover over here. I'm going to come about three foot off the wall. So if I just kind of hover over the center and come over about three foot, I'm going to draw this um, all the way over here. And right now I'm guesstimating it. I can fix it later. So let's say it's about 19 feet, six inches. So it's going to be mad at me because it tells me that the highlighted walls overlap, um, but that's okay. So I want to select this wall. So if I select it, it'll turn blue. And over here, let's change the top constraint so it only comes up to level two. And I'm going to give it a top offset of negative two feet so that it's not going up past the floor level. Um, the next thing we do is I'm going to cut this wall to let that one in. So I'm going to come over here to modify, click on cut, click on my outside wall, and then click on that curtain wall. So now if I look in 3D, I can hold shift and my middle mouse can just scroll around. You'll see that I have um, this glass wall here. And I can go ahead and change this over here from hidden line to shaded so that you can see that that has some transparency to it. We'll go through and um, work on adding detail and doors to that later. I just wanted to show you how curtain walls, though they kind of feel like windows, are walls and rub it. Okay, so now let's add a wall on the second floor. So I'm going to double click on level two. And you'll notice I see this curtain wall here. <coughs> Even though it doesn't come all the way up there. The reason for that is there's an underlay on on this floor. If I look at my properties under my floor plan, and I scroll down, it says underlay, level one, level two, look down. So if I uncheck, um, if I go here and I make it have no underlay and apply, you'll notice that that goes away. 
Um, but it is helpful. I'll put it back on. So underlay level one. Nope, it should be underlay level two, I think. Um, I'm having trouble getting it back. Here it is. Okay, so level one was correct. So now I can do that. Great. So let's say that I'm going to create um, like space for a bathroom back here. So I'm going to go ahead and go to architecture wall and this time under properties, let's make it a smaller wall. Let's only do a four and seven eighths inch partition. And this one, I still want to be using the finished face interior. Um, and now I'm going to estimate where it goes. So I'm going to have a six by eight bathroom. So I want to be put this way. So I'm not going to get it exactly right now. I'm just going to kind of draw in about where I think it is and then about six foot this way. And then hit escape when you're done with that. Anytime you kind of get stuck in a command and row it, you just hit escape, escape. So now let's dimension this so we can change where those walls go. So I'm going to type in D as in dog, I as in igloo for dimensions, and that'll bring up my dimension string. Um, I can also get there if I go to annotate align dimension. And then we're going to dimension the inside of this so that we can move it. So anytime something comes up blue, that's what it's highlighting. I want it to get the edge. So to make it to get the edge, we're going to hit tab and click on the inside, hit tab, click on the other inside, and bring this out. Then I'm going to hit tab to get the inside here, tab to the inside of the wall there. Now I can select the wall. So I'm going to select this wall, and you'll notice the numbers turn blue. That means I can change them. So now I can type in six feet and hit enter. Now I know it's exactly the right size. <coughs> and for this one, I can select it. And here I can type in eight feet and hit enter. And now I know that that is just the right size. If I look at this in 3D, you'll now see that I have my walls that go to four, so they're my thicker exterior walls. I have my curtain wall in the front to help me get people in and out. And I have this smaller um, enclosure up here that is going to set my unit. Okay, I'm going to stop that one here, and then my next topic is going to be um, roofs.